Thank you for tuning in. Uh, this morning, it's right at midnight. I wouldn't even do any more tonight, but I just kind of felt like doing this tonight. I was opening up the Bible. I'm also going to start the Bible study again later on tonight. I got one other thing I'm going to do for you. But uh, tonight we'll be in Zechariah chapter 2. And it says, I lifted up my eyes again and looked and behold a man with a measuring line in his hand. You know, God has a measuring line in his hand tonight. And he will measure out to us everything that we need. You know, if you're in times of drought, if you're in the times of fear, whatever you're in tonight, God will be right there with you. He'll never leave you and he'll never forsake you. I done a broadcast earlier today on uh, getting out of the cave. And I just sh shared it again on Facebook and the photo albums I have up there. And I shared it here on YouTube. Uh, it's in parts because these uh, videos can only go so long until they just start uh, messing up. Or they won't post on YouTube, so I shortened it. But on YouTube, I had them in different parts. But you can listen to the whole complete part at uh, Open the Doors at Blog Talk Radio. If you don't want to listen to all the parts here, just go to the Blog Talk page. But tonight, God can, has a measure line with us. And we always need to measure up to the Lord. And He will always measure up to us. And He will give us what we need tonight. That said, I'd rather goest thou. And He said unto me, To measure Jerusalem, to see what is the, the breadth thereof, and what is the length thereof. And behold, the angel of the Lord that talked with me, and went forth, and another angel went out to meet, uh, meet him. And he said unto him, Run, speak to the young man, saying, Jerusalem shall be inhabited, and towns without walls for the multitude of men, all cattle therein. God wants us to run and speak tonight what he has us to do. We need to tear down the walls that are about us. We need to have those without walls. You know, sometimes if you're going through things in your life, it's because you have walls built up around you. It's because you build up walls because you think it's just too, so strong that you can do it yourself. But only God can get you out of your cage tonight. Only God can measure up to what you need Him to be tonight. For I say, say, for I say it, but I say it, the Lord will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and will be the glory in the midst of her. He will be like a fire, and he will be the glory. No one can harm you if the Lord is by your side. No devil in hell can defeat you if the Lord is by your side. And the, we're going to skip on down to the ninth verse. For it says, For behold, I will shake my hand upon them, and they shall be spoiled to their servants. And he shall know that the Lord of hosts have sent me. If God has truly sent you tonight, they will know. Go where God tells you to go. Do what God tells you to do. Don't be afraid of the outcome or what others might say. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion. For lo, I come, and I will dwell in the midst of thee, saith the Lord. God will dwell in the midst of you tonight. And no devil in hell can prevail against you. And he will dwell in the temples of that holy place. He will dwell in you tonight. If you don't know the Lord tonight and you want to know the Lord, I give you this invitation to come unto Him. If you know the Lord but you're in a drought, or you're trying to hide in caves, or you've come to a point in your life when you don't know whether you can go on or not, rejoice and go where God tells you to go. Do what God tells you to do, and He will and veil in you the things that he would have bestowed upon you but you've got to trust upon him tonight don't trust upon nobody but the Lord and give him the praise and give him the glory and know tonight that he will see you through no matter what battles you may be facing tonight he will measure you 
and he will make you ready. He will give you just what you need for your journey. And you'll never hunger or you'll never thirst again. The Bible says he'll give you water that you'll never thirst again. And he'll give you the meat of that living word of God. This Bible that you see before you. From Genesis to Revelations. Everlasting. He's the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. The first and the last. He that he is and he that was forevermore. And he will show you all of his glory. Revelations 20 and 26 says, And they shall bring the glory and honor of all the nations into it. The glory and honor of the nations. John 17 and verse 1 says, These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes into the heavens and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify thy Son, that thy Son also so may glorify thee. And thou hast given him power over all flesh. And, and he shall give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal, that they might know the only true God in Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me, thine own self of glory which I had with thee before the world was there. Before the world was formed, he was there. He's the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, first and last, he that is and he that was forevermore tonight. John 14, verse 1. Let not your heart be troubled. He believe in God believe also in me believe upon him tonight and glorify him and the mountains that's in your way will be moved the doubts and fears that's in your mind will be gone in my father's house verse 2 are many mansions if it was not so I would have, not, I would have told you I go to prepare a place for you. You may not have nothing in this life. But if you endure until the end. And do whatever God tells you to do. He will have a place for you tonight. Prepared. A mansion in glory. Don't give up. Tear down the walls. So that God can move. Let go of the pain and the heartaches so God can reach you and know that He can tonight because even the very hairs on your head are numbered and He has a plan for your life. Jeremiah 1 says He has a plan for your life. Do you know that plan that God has for your life tonight? I encourage you to pray tonight. 